Is Israel about to revolutionize warfare with a laser weapon that can shoot down missiles in a blink of an eye? Spoiler alert, yes. And it's called the Iron Beam. Shalom from Israel. I'm Hanani Naftali with the latest update from the Middle East. And today we're talking about the cutting edge laser defense system that Israel is set to deploy sooner than you think. So what exactly is the Iron Beam? It's a high energy laser weapon designed to intercept threats at the speed of light. Yes, you heard that right, light speed defense. This is the future of real world defense. With its 100 kilowatts class laser, the Iron Beam can pinpoint and neutralize anything from drones and mortars to small rockets and short range ballistic missiles from hundreds of meters to several kilometers away. Think of it as a lightsaber. For, na for national defense, only this one doesn't miss. But before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates and insights on what's happening here in Israel and across the Middle East. In a world of censorship, we have to stick together. Now, let's talk about what makes the Iron Beam truly revolutionary. First, the cost. The Iron Dome, which has served Israel incredibly well, costs tens of thousands of dollars for each intercept. Each Iron Beam interception, around $2. That's right. This is defense that doesn't break the bank, thanks to its virtually unlimited ammunition. I mean, light energy, that's the ammunition. No missiles, no resupplies, just pure renewable laser energy. It's high tech, but it's also practical. And at nearly zero cost per interception, it's exactly the kind of technology every defense system dreams of. This recent 2 billion shekel contract, which is approximately half a million dollars between Israel's defense system, Rafael and Elbit systems, is a game changer. Pushing for mass production of these laser systems to put them to use within a year. The investment shows just how much faith Israel has in this technology. And for good reason. Israel is bringing an operational laser weapon into the field, making it the first country to make this leap. Think of the Iron Beam as Israel's Iron Dome 2.0, a next-gen layer in our multi-layer defense system, taking us one step closer to bulletproofing our skies. So how Iron Beam fits in exactly? Well, it's a crucial complement to the Iron Dome, but the Iron Beam adds a unique advantage, pinpoint accuracy and zero collateral damage. When the Iron Beam fires, it doesn't explode, it neutralizes. This means Iron Beam can defend urban areas, military bases, and strategic assets without putting nearby areas at risk. In a region where threats are as close as our borders, that precision makes a difference. Now, the big question is, what does it mean for Israel and beyond? So here's where it gets actually interesting. This isn't just about defense, it's about independence. The Iron Beam doesn't need foreign supplied interceptors, which makes Israel less reliant on others for its defense. We saw with the recent war that there were some countries that said, let's push for an arms embargo against Israel. And that is why I am doing everything I can to block US military aid and offensive weapon sales to the right wing extremist Netanyahu government in Israel. Doesn't matter that Israel is going to win with their support or without their support. But this kind of sovereignty in defense is priceless. Israel's enemies rely on cheap rockets and drones, hoping to overwhelm our defenses by sheer volume. The Iron Beam flips that strategy on its head by making every single intercept virtually free, while the other side is actually spending hundreds if not thousands on each projectile that they fire. So there's also something biblical about this too, because in the Old Testament, God used pillars of fire to defend the Israelites. Here we are, thousands of years later, wielding laser fire to protect the same land, the same people. Is this a sign of the end times or some fulfillment of ancient prophecies? Who's to say? But I'll tell you this, Israel is blessed to have this technology at its disposal. Now, why Israel's enemies should actually pay attention and watch this video? Because for those planning 
to threaten Israel with rockets and drones, it's time to rethink. Israel is no longer just defending itself. It's leading the world with a weapon that's faster, smarter, and almost free to use. The Iron Beam is sending a clear message. If you launch something into Israel's airspace, it's not going to get far. Now, I can't help but feel proud here because Israel is showing the world what real strength looks like. It's not about brutal force. It's about ingenuity and efficiency. We're creating defenses that protect our people and do it at a fraction of the cost. Some might say that's the blessing of being the startup nation. I say it's the blessing of being the nation of Israel. Now, here's my opinion. The Iron Beam is not just revolutionary for Israel. It's revolutionary in how wars will be fought in the future. Uh, and can we all agree here that wars are bad? It's not something that we uh, anticipate for. It's not, it's not something that we want uh, to have. But when wars are waged against Israel, Israel is forced to innovate and to think and to come up with ways we can best defend our people. And you can bet that other countries will want to get their hands on this technology or develop something similar. Let me know in the comments, by the way, what do you think? Should Israel share this technology with other countries or uh, might it eventually end up in uh, the hands of Israel's enemies? Now, I want to leave you with this thought. Israel's iron beam shows that the right technology can reshape not just the defense, but the very concept of deterrence. Hear me out. In the world we're living, being strong isn't just enough. Uh, strength has to be backed by wisdom, strategy, and a commitment to protect what's ours. And one more thing, if you want to show your support for Israel and stand against the BDS and anti-Israel haters, then head over to the IsraelStore.com. Your purchases help fight the good fight in a world that often doesn't understand what we are up against. So until next time, stay safe, stay proud, and stay watchful. The future of defense is here.